topic for today is that we're chilling. We're just chatting. We might do a discussion at the end, one of those videos that we film for YouTube. I'm thinking about it. Depends on if I have enough on the topic to talk about. Yeah, I don't really have that much free time either to probably... I expect that I'll be very busy uh, the, this weekend. Uh, given the format of the event and the commentary, it's pretty likely that I'm very busy. It's one of those weekends. Which is great for everybody attending at home. Is unfortunate for me because I wish I had a little bit more free time. But events like this, I think I'm usually okay with working a lot because I know it'll be fun. I want to go to Green Path. So I should go up. Green Path is somewhere I wanted to visit. Because I have a new power that's like really useful. Um, I have a couple of new powers actually. You bitch. Yeah, I heard about that. That's pretty that's pretty wild actually. DC has good food places. You know, I've heard just in general DC is just great. A lot of people have said really nice things about it. There's good there's good wow, that hit me. There's good food. Uh, there's fun stuff to visit obviously. Like if you like museums and stuff, bunch of museums to check out, monuments. Uh, it seems like a cool place to visit. Um, I'm going to do my best with what time I have. Usually when it comes to cities, I don't spend a lot of time uh, I don't drink, and I... Oh, you mother... I try to dodge that. Come down here, you bitch. Come on. Who blasted my blast? Come on, man. You see this runaway shit? I hate this enemy. They're so pesky. At least the sword guy is easier to handle because they don't throw a projectile that's like homing. How did that not reach? The GIF? Alright, let me look at the GIF in a second here. Let me get to safety and I'll check it out. No. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, game. Pianoing 4BA covers back and front throws? Yeah, that's wild. How consistently, like, are people going to be so good at this that they don't get thrown 90% of the time? Is it that easy? Or is it like, is there a big margin of error? If there's a large margin for error, then, like, obviously, like, alright, it's a little, a little bit more sense. But, alright, let me see this gif. Oh, yeah, that gif, definitely. That's what I was looking for last night. I couldn't, I couldn't find it. I looked up Sejam Escape GIF, and I couldn't find it. Yeah, that GIF's good. Um, but yeah, I like streaming this game, mostly because I can just chat with you guys. I can read the chat, relax, have a good time. Let's go up and to the right. Does that sound good? Yes. That's what I should do first. Then I'll go to the bottom left. Word is that it can be done on reaction. Woo, that's rough. Yeah, you want, the thing about fighting games is that you need unreactable offense for the game to not be whack. That's just like, it's just how it is. That's why games either have pretty decently fast overheads or throws you can't tech on react. They need some kind of unreactable offense, right? I don't really remember what this guy does, to be honest. Wow, okay. It's been a while since I was at the green path. He's kind of like that other guy I was just fighting. Games need unreactable offense because without unreactable offense, defense just becomes the natural answer to everything, right? You just turtle up and wait and nobody can stop you. Where does this go? I remember, oh fuck. I remember exploring this area. You know, I missed my dash right there. Don't you fall here? Yeah. I remember exploring all this area. Is there anything extra here? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I, the problem with having all reactable offense, though, is that, like, at some point, turtling up and doing nothing becomes the best answer, right? I guess, actually, I should probably say that it depends on how linear the game is, right? Because some games have so many options that eventually, like, you know, your defense is bound to crack, right? I think Dragon Ball was like that in the beginning, right? Where, like, everybody was like, well, you just react to Dragon Rush and you'll be fine. And then eventually people figured out that there was both unreactable offense and that your defense gets sort of wear down, worn down eventually. But yeah, games sort of devolve when there's zero unreactable offense. It's just, you just sit there and wait. Like the dominance, there's not very many dominant strategies besides just chilling. I think that can become extremely frustrating. Right, yeah, that's that's how uh, Soul Calibur's throw system works, right? Is Generally, you're just trying to make reads. Like, okay, well, based on his positioning, like, he's going to back throw me here because the back throw will ring out, so I'll, I'll back tech, and then they front throw you, and you're like, okay. Right, that's just, that's how, like, the throw tech system should work. But if you can tech both on reaction, that's like... Yeah. Yeesh. Oh, you son of a... I was looking at my mat. Uh, yeah, also, that reminds me, while you're in the chat, I was playing Ascension Mode last night, I haven't played uh, Slay the Spire in a little while. I haven't been as, like, had time to just sit down and play Ascension. So last night I played three games, and I beat Ascension, uh, Ascension 9 with all three of the classes back to back. It was just boom, 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 three straight games. I was like, damn. I'm getting so much more comfortable playing any of the Ascension modes. I feel like I'll probably hit 20 decently fast. You know, you bitch. It's talking about Slay the Spire. I feel like I'll see, I'll hit Ascension 20 decently fast. I'm at like, I think I'm at like 90 hours now in that game or something, 80 hours. For a while, I was so busy that I would just come home and like play the daily. <laughs> like I was just so tired and so busy. I was like, I don't want to play. Like the daily run tends to be a little bit more simple. And it's usually, oh, it's usually pretty fun, right? Man, those things are fast. Uh, man, I wish you could just... Crystal Dash, you son of a bitch. I knew I was going to get hit there. I've seen the final act stuff, yeah. The uh, act four stuff that you get with the, the keys on the beta. Yeah, I've seen it. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like the heart at the, the final boss is not that tough. It seems like the, uh, what's it called? Oh, I should have gone down back there. It seems like the the boss right or the fight right before it seems like it's really tough, and a lot of the times it seems like the the act three on Ascension Twenty is harder because you have to fight two bosses back to back, right? Some people are saying that they wish that on Ascension Twenty, uh, the last boss in the Heart Room had two bosses too, right? So it was like the Heart and something else after. Because I think at at that point your deck is so strong, right? It's very hard for them to throw something at you that you can't handle, like, reasonably well. It's like it's reasonable that Vicious has hit me with the host Rooney. What up, homie? You know, I had a great reaction face to send you earlier, Jeremy, of your own face when you posted that eating alone in Japan thing where they hook you up with a homie. Cracks me up. Can I just crystal dash across this? Let me do it. You know, game. See the reaction time to dodge that motherfucker, that fella? Man, remember when you couldn't swim in poison water? This area it took so much longer to traverse. Okay. Being able to swim in this water is so useful. I guess it might unlock new areas down here too. I, I didn't really explore it just now, but I should probably check it. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. That's right. I gotta go up. This area, uh, to my left, I don't have unlocked, and I don't know, I don't exactly know why. You're down to visit that restaurant. Huh. Yeah, I don't really know, I don't really know why this area is locked off still. I thought this was like one of the... Maybe it's down there. Hmm. I'm 
I'm not sure. Yeah, this game is extremely pretty, for sure. It's uh, it's also has wonderful music. The, the music is amazing. The art style is really beautiful. Didn't I, did I already go to that area to the left? Is that what it is? Okay. Uh, maybe there's not as much to explore here as I thought. There is an area above me to the right that I should check out. I don't remember. I don't know exactly what I need to do to get through that area. Oh, is there something back there? Oh yeah, nothing. Yeah, they give you like essentially a stuffed animal. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Just go down. Oh man. I get so spoiled by the areas that you can crystal dash that when you have to like manually traverse them, I'm like, damn. Okay. Yeah, I'm with, oh fuck. I'm with you about Slay the Spire. I've been a little bit busy. Thank you, my lovely subscribers. What up, hot dog? And thanks very much for the sub, homie. Uh, I've been a little busy as well uh, in terms of having time to play Slay the Spire. Especially because uh, I haven't really been streaming any fighting games. So when I'm not streaming fighting games, I've been kind of watching a lot of stuff and trying to study. To be honest, I've been streaming non-fighting games to try to take a little bit of a break a rooney to relax. And then I'm going to do Conquest, and then I have a little bit of a break after Conquest until uh, probably Cap Cup. And then I have one more event after that. Two more events after that. I think. I think that's my year. I think that's uh, basically the plan. Come on, guy. When's the scary, uh, scary game? Oh, you mother... That, you see, that was your fault, Jeremy. <laughs> scary, uh, I've been thinking about streaming Resident Evil 7. So that's what I've been thinking about streaming as far as scary games. So I need to go up into the left. I, I want to stream Resident Evil 4 professional because just because I like that game It's fun to play through every once in a while and then I want to do that I also want to play through Devil May Cry th Maybe 3 and 4 but at least 4 before Devil May Cry 5 comes out. Oh fuck. I knew that guy was gonna hit me Yeah, I really like you know what's funny about this game Budafuka is that everybody comes into my stream and at different times will be like oh This is the best track in the game like the music is just that good that like everybody loves different soundtrack or different uh, themes from different areas. Yeah, you know what's funny, Ryan, is um, we were talking. I was talking to one of the Red Bull guys about commentary for the finals, and I was like, "Yeah, they're like, who who'd be great on commentary that can do stuff or whatever." And I was just like, you know who's awesome? We should just have him do Gears, Ryan Hunter. Ryan Hunter should definitely do Gears. That'd be great to have him. And he goes, well, we can't. And I was like, what? And then he's like, he's playing in the tournament. I was like, oh my god, that's fucking right. I forgot. <laughs> Yeesh, that was close. In fact, that my shadow dash might have saved me there. Okay, well, I took some damage there. I don't think I could get through this area without that dash, maybe? I'm not sure. Thorns of Agony. Is that a... Um, sprout thorny vines that damage nearby foes. Or, uh, foes. All right, so if you get hit, you hurt the foe. That's cool. He stole his own work from himself? Yeah. I had you. There was a uh, video I did recently where I talked about talked about you a little bit, Ryan. Uh, did I go up into the right already? I think I did, right? I was talking about fighting game analysts, actually, and you were one of the people I talked about. <clears throat> okay. Hey. Oh, you bitch! I thought he wasn't gonna lunge me. I thought he was just gonna come up and try to stab me. What? Oh, I didn't see it. He blended in. I guess he did his job. That camouflage was pretty good. It was like some snake eater shit. Yeah, that was me at uh, Combo Breaker for KI one year. I was supposed to do top eight, but I made top eight winners. And then I jumped on after I lost. Which, for most commentators, is extremely dangerous. But I was like, I, was, I lost a good player, so I was like, yeah, yeah. 
I'm chilling. It happens. That was FRQ Steve. True. That was a different that was a different human being. It's the Common Breaker Classic. I think that was the last big KI tournament I answered. I don't remember. I don't know if I... I think I answered Evo that year. That was the year I think I got 13. Or, yeah, I think it was that year. That was season two. So down into the left, I couldn't go to... There's something that I'm missing. There must be a way to get to it from the other side, maybe. Maybe I should go check that area real quick. The problem with this game is that I realized that I've only ever played it on stream, but I've been so busy that I haven't played this in like a year. Like it's been like a year since I played Hollow Knight. So the last time I was in the green path was like a year ago. So I don't remember many of the things that I've done here or like what the area is around it, you know? So that's sort of the the issue I'm having is I'm like, did I go here? <laughs> I don't remember. I'm like, uh, I'm pretty sure. What's, what's down there? Well. At Red Bull Conquest, there's just like a bunch of microphones. So if Ryan loses, I'm just gonna grab him. Oh, fuck. Against his will. And make him do commentary. Welcome to my show. No, I'm just kidding. No! I try to delay the double jump so I wouldn't hit the ceiling. Okay. Oh my. Well, you know, sometimes I delayed it too far. Can I kill this guy? Alright, he can give me some uh, healing at least. Oh no, I didn't get enough. All right. Oosh. Okay, so I have to do the crystal dash, huh? Man, I lost a lot of life here. This is such like a... Oh, I delayed it too much. This is such a simple platforming area, but man. Okay, I don't remember what's on the other side of this. Okay. No, I thought I didn't see spikes there. Oh fuck, back here, I'm getting smoked. Yeah, that style where like one person. Okay, let's not die. That style is really fun. Uh, I think in invitationals are really cool in that sense, right? Where like you can just roll up and sort of have like a real fun casual conversation. That's one thing about Summit commentary that is important for not only the commentators to get, but the viewers, right? A lot of viewers are like, oh, this commentary is barely about the match. These guys are just chilling. It's like, well, sort of what Summit's about, right? It's supposed to be a real relaxed environment. It's not very, uh, it's not a very, like, you know, super serious. Oh, boy. This guy is going to be a, of all the enemies that have to fucking kill to get health, that one was not a good one. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, Summit's a really relaxing event. I think that format is really good for fighting games where a lot of the um, commentary tends to be laid back at a lot of events anyway. It's sort of like our locals, right? I don't know how often other games have local, like events that are small enough that you can sort of just, you know, do whatever. Besides like home streams and summits, right? Like what else is there? Man, I still only got two extra hits out of that. Oh yeah, this game is excellent. I think it's one of the best Metroidvanias I've ever played. It's on the Switch now too, and it's on PC. I'm about maybe 10 to 12 hours in. The only issue that with this game is that um, I've only played it on stream and because of that, a lot of my playthrough I don't remember because it was a long time ago. That's not gonna hit me, is it? But the game, yeah, the fighting, the exploration, I mean, the map is humongous, just to give you, like, I'm in this area, this green path, it's really big, right? It's what, like, nine, ten rooms? This is the second area I went to in the entire game, this is the first one, and then there's this, right, this huge area, which I haven't even explored all of it, and all of this down here, like, it's, it's a massive, the game's humongous. Uh, it's a big game. 
That's about 10 hours of exploring. And there's areas in the game I haven't discovered yet. Have I played Guacamelee? No, but it's been recommended to me probably at least a dozen times. You see that reaction time? Fucking rough. 2H the super dash. All right, let's go do some uh, exploring. It says, what was that advice that I muted? You have to somewhat puzzle out what is going on. Y yeah, uh, are you talking about story? Oh, I guess he's muted. I don't know if he's talking about story or like the area to the left. The area to my left, I'm not sure how to get to. I was thinking that if I go all the way to the left over there, there might be a way to get there, like from above. Oh, I took that hit. That I don't remember, but I'm not sure. But yeah, this game is excellent. I recommend it to anybody who likes this style of game. These things respawn, right? Oh, maybe not. The badges? Yeah, the badges are great. And I saw, I really like, I feel like there's a few good event badges I saw recently, actually. There was, a, I really like the ones that they had at the Manga. I thought they were cool, too. Yeah, this is, that's a great description of the story of this game, for sure. Alright. Okay. Man, this is not an easy uh, platforming area. Oh, fuck. Alright. Why do that? Oh my god, I thought I did this. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, maybe that's why I shouldn't do that. Okay. Are you serious? I think I just cheated. I don't know how I didn't die right there. Okay. They just canceled out my crit. Whoa, I forgot you could do that. That's like a re That's a pretty new ability that I got, right? I got that like last time, so I didn't even think about that as an option. Okay. I swung down. Okay. It's so funny how I did it so easily that time compared to the last time, right? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. So I, I came to this area before. Oh, what's down there? Another rancid egg, probably? Sure. I've collected so many, I don't really know the purpose still. I think somebody said it was, uh, the purpose of the egg is to revive yourself if you can't get to your body or something. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I don't really know. You don't like Metroidvanias that much? I think that they're fun. They just take a lot of time, right? I don't really know if there's an area in here that I haven't gone to yet. Yeah, the Heavy Slash, right. I remember talking to this guy. I just wanted to see if there was a, you know, something in here that I didn't see before. What I'm trying to figure out is 
There's an area below. Oh, fuck. There's an area below me that I can't get to, right? That area right below me. And I was trying to figure out if there was a connection over there. But currently, it doesn't seem like it. Unless there's something down there that I can't see. I didn't realize I fell. Because I, I came back here to explore a little bit because there's... I've unlocked a lot of new abilities since the last time I was here. Uh, so I wanted to see if I could... If there was something in particular I could get here. Um, I'll come back to this area though. I think there's more on Kingdom Edge that I need to do as well. Yeah, there was an area there that I couldn't get to because it was blocked off. So I should go to King Station actually. Check that. King Station's a good start. Because I remember the goo was over there and I couldn't get through it, right? So I should just, I should go do that first. I don't remember the other, there's like two other areas that I think I can't get to because of the, sha I needed the shadow dash for. Okay, down. Man, the music, I really like the City of Tears music, to be honest with you. I think City of Tears music is the best. The vertical, uh, whatever it's called, I don't know the actual name for it. But you needed the shadow dash to get through it. Um, which way is the better way for me to go? Down, probably? Yeah. No! I tried to jump, and I missed it. Shadow Pillar in Kingdom's Edge? Yeah, that's why we're in Kingdom's Edge. Down. I should go down. I don't remember what was at the bottom. I didn't know if it was spikes or water or acid or whatever. And it turns out it was acid. Which I can swim through, so it didn't matter. Yeah, the shadow. Oh man, these guys are so pesky, man. Are you serious? I thought he was gonna die in two hits. I have so many areas that I should go back and check. Oh no. Oh, I thought I dodged it. Two hits, huh? I don't think I've ever killed that guy without taking at least one hit. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I feel like currently I, I have most of the movement tools, probably. Probably. I don't know if that's for sure. But I feel like I have a lot of them. Hey. Yeah, so I couldn't get through this before, right? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot I haven't discovered. Okay. I will not challenge you. Just because you seem like a real, a real asshole. I'm not going to get provoked. Okay. <clears throat> this guy seems like a... He seems pretty pesky. Where's the nearest bench? I should go up and get the bench and then come back down and fight him. I'm going to get some new... Some new charms and I'll throw hands at this guy. Oh my goodness. You fucking... You know. I'll, I'll throw hands at this guy. That sounds like a good... This seems like a good fight. I'll do this. I thought maybe there was a shortcut. Oh, he turned around. Oh my. It seems like it'll be a cool fight. I like it. He's talking a lot of shit, so he's gotta be tough. Am I saying the ghost will catch these hands? Of course. I'll hand out, you know, if, if somebody's trying to throw hands. Oh boy. That was a, that was a sick combo that I just did. You see that? Not many people can get hit by this guy and the pillar at the same time, or the spikes at the same time. Yeah, that's what I think. Right here? Where is it? Over here? Yeah, 
Maybe it's breakable. Where was the breakable floor? There was definitely a breakable floor there, but yeah, it seemed like it was from above. Wow, two shots in a row? You are a pesky and Oh, come on. I missed my double jump. Oh, there it is. Right? What did I hit? Maybe it was his body. I didn't see. What up, Inus? How's it going? Ah, here it is. Never mind. Okay. Sick. Two shortcuts. Yeah, they're so annoying, right? Like, it's... They're not, like... They're not, like, in incredibly dangerous, but they're just so hard to hit, and their projectiles are really... Like, if you get close, you're gonna get hit. And if you try to stay far away, it's really hard to reach them, because they're so fast. So, yeah. They're, they're just naturally a pretty tough enemy to just kind of swat. You can't kill them quickly. You have to be patient. There's a path there, too. Oh, well, I'll check it out in a second. Oh, whoops. Uh, I thought that was Steady Body. Did I not put on the right one? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, to get back to the homeboy, I need to go down to the right. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me take off. Wayward Compass and Gathering Swarm. And then with the two left, what did we use last time? Soul Catcher? Soul Catcher seems like it's a better fighting uh, charm than what I had on. Alright. Oh, yeah, I'm hitting Spike there. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, there's a Caterpillar over here. Okay, so this is what it opened up, right? See, that's what I'm saying. Why does... Wow. Okay. So I got the Caterpillar. Nice. I gotta go back to that guy. I haven't gotten a reward from him in so long. I don't even know... Oh my god. This is gonna destroy me. Well, at least I was ready to be destroyed. Shit. This is real bad. Alright, alright. because I don't have the thing on. All right. Okay, cool. No, yeah, I remember we, we saw that on when we were going down. I wanted to go to the grub first. Okay. I think he's over here, right? Which way is he? He was down to the right, so I think he's like a little further below me. Yeah, he's not this way. Can you jump up here? I didn't think so. Oh my goodness, leave me alone. Damn it, I gotta sit, sit and think about where I went. Where did I go? Did I pass him? Oh shit, I didn't even see them. Did I dash under them? How did I get them? I'm like, am I crazy? I know I went down and then I went to the left. Did I not go the right way? It should have been a large cavern and then drop and then go down to the left again, right? That should have been what it was. Probably not this way. 
right? This is the main cavern. So, yeah, I need to go right and then walk through and then go up. Okay. That makes sense. Oh. So this is... Yeah, okay, this makes sense. Sure. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Oh. I need to go more right. You know... There's so many of these fucking bugs. Why does it spawn this enemy so much? It really likes this enemy. Yeah, I have to go up here and then go to the right. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Man, that was, uh, way more complicated than it needed to be. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll fight you, you ghost bitch. That thing looks like it's gonna hit me. Oh, he shoots projectiles too? Oh, they spawn from the, all over the place. Oh, shit, I see. Okay. How homing are they? Oh, not very homing. The angle that they come out is what they're gonna shoot. Is this multi-projectile? Wow, it's just wider and wider. Okay. Okay. Wow, they seem like they home a lot more now. Or maybe I'm just not remembering correctly. Uh-oh, that was a lot of life. Is he doing the wider thing? Yeah, he was. Okay, this enemy is gonna be a little difficult. I see. I see what you guys mean. I wonder if it's better to try to get above him. It seems like that might be the strat. When I got above him, I felt like he had a harder time hitting me there. Okay. Let me. Oh, I just wanted to think. Yeah, that seems like a pesky enemy. Okay. Down, down here. Whoops. Where's my spirit body is the question. Oh, I guess I can probably fight it before I have to fight him, right? He probably doesn't trigger until I talk to him. Wow, he has all my abilities. What? All right, look, you stupid bitch. Wow, I thought that, that had already shot, actually. Well, I'm gonna get hit here. Okay. I wish you could make it hit him, that'd be great. Oh, because I hit him up, it was closer to me? That sucks. Fuck. What? I jumped. Was it the hit stun right there that made me not get the jump? Wow, it spawned right on top of me. All right, I hid in the corner. Just like, I'm gonna hide from the bits. Thanks very much. Oh boy, I tried to... Uh, damn it, he moved too close to me right there. Uh, oh, fuck. Look, I need you to do that. Yeah, there we go, thanks. Can it go out this far? I don't think so. Okay. The only problem I have is when these things spawn on top of me. That seems to be the hardest thing to dodge. Okay. That's a different spell, right? I don't know. You just said different words. Oh my god. Oh, see? This is a problem. Okay, we're hit. we've hit the second phase. Where he's spawning more spears, and he's got a second thing. Here comes the thing, right? Bill, my... That was pretty close. 
Damn, I can't swing through them either. Oh. You know, that was two hits that I didn't need to take. Only one heal. Damn it. I didn't have anywhere to double jump to avoid it, so I just had to take the hit there. a long fight. Thanks very much, Balloon. You're a little distracting, but I appreciate it anyway. Oh, fuck. You know, Balloon, it didn't have to be like this, Balloon. It did fucking... I appreciate your bits. You're very kind. <clears throat> Damn. Okay. I try to play that really slow, because my thought process was like, you know, if you just don't get hit a lot, and then you heal during that section, you'll eventually kill him, right? It took a little while. I wonder if it's even worth trying to play like that. It seems like it, right? Oh, you mother. Oh my. It's, I don't think that was a bad strategy, actually. It seemed like that might work. Okay. Heal. Oh boy. Man, there's so many enemies on the way to this boss. Yeah, that's, that's sort of what I get about this boss, right? That seems to be the way to fight him. Play real aggressive when he's got the spears out, and then just heal during the other portion. That seems like the strategy, because he can't really reach you. Oh, I almost did that without getting my body back. Yeah, he seems like he can't really reach you if he's not in the right position already. Oh, fuck. He went way up there. Come back. Stupid bitch. Can I zap him here? Well, that's it. I got one. Fuck. Oh, man. Oh, oh. oh I read it. It was just a little early. You know, I, can, I I hate it when he's hiding up here. It's so hard to hit him. He's running, running for his life. Oh no! I don't know if this is gonna reach me here. It might. Nope, just a little short. Fuck! I should have. If I hit both of those attacks, I'd be fine right now. Oh, and I could get a lot more healing. Damn the landing. Wow, I didn't even see that one. Damn, I didn't get very much health back this time. I need to... I was gonna say, I need to try to avoid those a little better. And then get like... Fuck. Okay. I should've dashed. I should've dashed instead of jumping there. But I thought I could jump and then go off the wall, you know? That was my thought process. Jump, go off the wall, and then go up, and then hide in the corner and heal. That didn't work. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got pretty close that time, I think. I think I got pretty close. Yeah, he, he kind of is like a Devil May Cry. He reminds me of Devil May Cry 4, like one of the angel bosses. Man, he went up so... He's a coward. Oh, man. I forgot those can go through the... I thought I was safe because of the rock below me. But you're never safe. Okay. I'm going to heal. I have some extra juice, which is pretty nice. Got hit right there. Wow. You know, that's fair. Damn it. The 
nail reach would have been, oh, if the nail reached right there, I'd have been very surprised, but I got pretty close. You know. He's so pesky when he hides up top because then, oh man, I put myself in a, precari a precarious spot trying to jump and reach him and then I can't alter my jump to avoid the thing, the spears. Oh boy, that was a bad spot. Fuck, I thought I made it out. Okay. Yeah, when he goes up like this, it's really it's really pesky to chase him up there. Wow. That was close. I have to wait so long. Come on, man. Two now? Yeah, okay. We did enough damage. Yeah, the problem is, is that um, when he's really high like that, I, I keep wasting my jump actions to try to get there, and then I don't have any left to dodge when the, yeah, there's nowhere to go there. The spears come down, the lances. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped. I start to run out of room to dodge too. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh. Oh. My. You know, I ca I didn't know where to go that was safe there because he healed so or he did it so close to the middle. Oh fuck. All right, I just I think I just have to wow I just have to wait out this spear phase. My screen is so dark. Oh my god, I thought I was gonna die there. All right, well, now I have to hit him to get health back. Shit, I should've dodged. Oh, I'm dead. That shadow dash saved my life. Let's fucking go. Okay, that was a little, a little sketchy of a fight. Come to consume me. Oh shit. You're damn right. How much do I get? Damn, I need to go back there. She's gonna give me an upgrade.